when the most feared Wookiee bounty hunter fought Chewbacca. Chewbacca was one of the most famous Wookiee warriors from Kashyyyk, but he wasn't the most feared. The title belonged to another, Black Kersantan. So it happened when the two came to blows in the midst of the Battle of Ragus Vass. That's today's story. Just a few weeks after the destruction of the first Death Star, the Rebels were defending an attack from Imperials on the planet of Ragus Vass. As TIE Fighters descended from above, Darth Vader had a secret mission of his own. As he ordered Dr. Aphra and the frightening Wookiee bounty hunter, Black Chrysanthemum, to find and capture Luke Skywalker. During the battle, Leia ended up in a face-to-face -face showdown with Darth Vader. Han Solo, Chewbacca, and Luke Skywalker sped off aboard the Millennium Falcon to save Organa. But their flight was cut short. A sudden, massive thud impacted the back half of the ship that echoed throughout its entire body. Already in a heightened state of anxiety, the crew desperately tried to figure out what or who had just hit them. Before a conclusion could be reached, they were going down. The Falcon dived headfirst into the sand below, creating a splattering wave of dust around it. In the cockpit, Luke and Han slowly recomposed. They quickly realized their ship wasn't going anywhere anytime soon, and they were stuck inside. But that was just the beginning of their mounting dilemmas. As smoke and sand swirled around their window, the aggressors made themselves known. Standing nearly eight feet high with a thermal detonator in hand was Black Chrysanthemum, infamous Wookiee bounty hunter and fearless gladiator. As he let out an unintelligible roar, Chrysanthemum launched a grenade towards the Falcon, which actually solved the first dilemma our heroes were facing. Solo popped his head out of the freshly carved out hole in his ship. As he exclaimed that he didn't want any trouble, the black-furred Wookiee ignored everything the smuggler was saying with his sights set on one person, Luke Skywalker. His gargantuan, hairy arm reached through and pulled Luke out of the cockpit. Chewie, seeing this, let out a signature roar of aggression as his friend and ally went flying through the air. He leapt at Corsantin and grabbed a fistful of hair on top of Black K's head. Pulling the bounty hunter away from Skywalker, the two Wookiees engaged in combat. But seemingly of equal size and strength, Solo was left to witness a tense brawl. Just moments earlier, in a fight against the evil protocol droid Triple Zero, Chewie had been poisoned, so he wasn't entering this fight at 100%. Solo was aware of this, and it weighed on his mind. He had pondered jumping in and backing his friend. But the longer he waited, the more he realized there was no space for him. They tried snapping each other's backs. They tried headbutting each other. It was brutal from the start with neither discernibly gaining the upper hand. However, one particular headbutt did manage to catapult Chewbacca quite a distance across the sand. Blaster in hand, Solo attempted to help his friend from afar, but he was also looking out for his ship. Of course, the brutal and unpredictable nature of this fight could mean irreversible damage to his most prized possession and their ticket off the now battle-torn planet. As the feuding Wookiees barreled closer to Solo, he took aim at Chrysanthemum and instructed Chewbacca to move. But they were coming toward him a little too fast. Before Han knew it, Chewie had crashed into him, with both friends now knocked to the ground. Particularly unfortunate for Solo, his huge, heavy Wookiee counterpart had landed right on top of him. As for the other Wookiee in the fight, Chrysanthemum wasted no time in picking up the pace. Running over to both of them, laying in a mess on the floor, the Wookiee bounty hunter quickly snatched Han's signature blaster and communicated with the smuggler in a way he'd know he'd understand. Right before Solo's eyes, the beloved weapon was crushed in the huge furry hand of Chrysanthemum. I can see your point, Han conceded, but Han wasn't really Chrysanthemum's concern. Chewie was still his main enemy. Unconscious, laying on the ground, Chewbacca was helpless. Black Chrysanthemum stood above the Wookiee smuggler and lifted a boulder above his head. He was going to drop the massive stone on Chewie and end his life. At the same time, R2 showed up. Enraged, Solo quickly demanded that the droid inject their Wookiee friend with a medical shot to counteract previously sustained poisoning in his veins that were weakening Chewie in his fight. Before Han could finish his routine of insults aimed at the astromech droid, R2 launched a precise shot right into Chewbacca's arm, mid-fight. His strength instantly returned now fueled up. Chewie hit Chrysanthemum square in the face with his massive fist in an explosion of hair and blood. Chewbacca was unhinged, making up for lost time he spent losing the brawl. 
As he pummeled the bounty hunter, it was now clear who had the upper hand. For a while, anyway. Although Chewie, at this point, was essentially pounding Chrysanthemum into the ground, the bounty hunter had a signature trick up his sleeve. While Chewbacca was in mid-punch throw, Chrysanthemum engaged his metallic knuckles. When the time came, he served a brutal uppercut to Chewie, knocking him flat on his back. Then his attention finally turned to Solo. Holding the smuggler in a chokehold with his gargantuan hand, there was no escape for either hero. The black-furred Wookiee then turned the choke into a bear hug and tried to crush Solo in his arms. Until an unexpected helping hand arrived. Well, not so much hand, exactly. C-3PO had lost both arms earlier in the battle, leaving his electrical circuits all exposed. The dismembered protocol droid demanded, in the least threatening way, that Chrysanthemum stop. Excuse me, Mr. Black Chrysanthemum. I've been asked to see if you'd refrain from these brutalities. Miraculously, the ploy worked. Chrysanthemum only managed to injure Solo as he dropped the smuggler to the ground to inspect what the gold-plated, now terrified service droid had to say. Black Chrysanthemum's body hid the sun, casting a massive shadow over the protocol droid. Reeling his fist back, the bounty hunter punched at 3PO. His massive hand punched the droid's golden chestplate, breaking the wires and conduits inside, which unleashed a massive electrical short. Black Chrysanthemum's entire body shook violently, and his fur stood up on its end. As the volts coursed through his body, both of them collapsed, with smoke pluming out of each body. 3PO was collected by his friends shortly after, and in their haste, they left Black Chrysanthemum on the bare desert ground. In a fight that could have easily gone either way, Chewbacca made a lucky escape, through a mixture of brawn, brains, and a little help from multiple friends. Although he technically lost this fight, Chewie had a lot going against him. He had been injured with a toxin just moments earlier, in a fight with Triple Zero, and was still dealing with the after effects. Would Chewie have won this fight if he was in perfect health? Who could say? Black Chrysanthemum was a former gladiator, and one of the most ruthless fighters in the galaxy. Chewie was physically strong, but not a murderer. And he would always be at a disadvantage against opponents who killed first and asked questions later.